everybody welcome back to another random sam epic mom and today is the day for one of our book reviews so what i have is the fourth in a series um i actually consider all of them you know part of this huge series that starts like right up here to all the way down here but these ones focus uh this is the fourth one on the billionaire werewolf series yes werewolves and in this uh, book, the werewolves, uh, you have royals who are born that way, who have very few human uh, traits in their background, and then just regular werewolves who are, you know, kind of, they can be bitten or they just happen to be mixed and they have to shapeshift on like the um, full moon and the new, no moon, they, they don't shift at all. So, you know, they're very, controlled by that and royals can just have full control well in this one wolf takes the lead um, the billionaire Derek Spencer um, had turned down a bodyguard of this chick because he somehow knew okay you know we would develop into a couple and it's just I'm not ready for that I've been burnt by too many she wolves in the past so he wants to just continue dating uh, human women who have no clue and that he can't get serious with because in this series if a werewolf uh, has sex with another werewolf just having sex together makes them um, a mated couple for life and I mean they can sleep with whoever they want as um, uh, if they're human but if it's two werewolves that kind of seals the deal. So here's the deal. Um, he's a billionaire. He decided not to hire her as his bodyguard because he just, you know, he didn't think it was a good idea because he knew that attraction was there. So he's been dating a human. His girlfriend at the time, at the last minute before a gala event, um, tells him, okay, you have a choice. You either marry me or we break up. And he says, okay, bye. I don't need that. Bye-bye. And I don't blame him because she's high maintenance. Um, and she's very demanding, very, you know, he needs to spend all his time on her. She needs to be the center of attention. She doesn't like going outdoors or anything. So it's just, you know, he already saw the writing on the wall, so he was looking at this. But he needs a date for the gala, or it's going to, you know, kind of put that. Well, when he didn't hire um, Kate Hanover to be his... Um, bodyguard she ended up working as not only a bodyguard but personal assistant to her best friend uh, who owns this big makeup company and so all of their friends are all part of this tight you know millionaire werewolf group and pretty much like okay just just ask Kate just ask Kate she'll she'll be your date just to save your face and all that so he they go on a date and they hit it off like that. She invites him to go on the camping trip that the whole group's going that he's kind of, he's put off being the third wheel for all these couples because he didn't want to be the odd man out and he couldn't bring his, you know, uh, human girlfriend because she wouldn't understand the whole running around as wolves type thing. Unfortunately, throughout the book, not only do they develop and become a mated pair, and they really do find that love for each other, and during it, she gets a promotion where she becomes a partner, so she's not just a bodyguard anymore, but she keeps protecting him. Um, the ex is just constantly causing trouble. There's just one mishap after another, and it's how you deal with those things. And I just love how... I will never be a billionaire. I, I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. I'm not going to be a millionaire. I'm... I'm I'm kind of down there at the bottom of the economic peril, people. Um, fixed income here. So I love reading about, you know, gala event, donating for this, cruise this. I love reading about because it, it, it is pretty much as much as being on an alien planet. So it's just fun, especially adding in the werewolf tendencies. And it's just, it's a wonderful story. It is a great read. I actually recommend any of uh, Terry Spears' books because as you can see, I've got a lot of them, and she's just a really great author. Um, I love the different scenarios. She also has, you know, a cougar 
shifter set and she's got this a Jaguar set and she's actually had the sets kind of intermingle and it's really fun to read. Um, but this one, it just recently came out. It is a really good read. Um, I read it in a day. That's not saying much because I can read most books in a day because I'm addicted to books. Um, but it is, it's a wonderful story. It's just so funny how you tell yourself, oh no, no, I can't, I can't date this person. I can't do that. And then you get to know them. It's like, I knew it. I knew if I went out with them, they were going to be the one. And it's, you know, opening yourself up and trying. And I just, I love the little mishaps. I love the female bodyguard getting to protect her mate. And, you know, it's just so funny because she's kind of like, oh, nope, nope, we're not going to do that. I mean, there's one scene, um, I'm going to spoil it a little bit, where they're just first hanging out, seeing if they even like each other. And they're walking along the beach and she's like, hey, hold on just a second. And she hands him the leash for one of the dogs that they're walking. And she goes over and catches a thief who's trying to rob people at the beach. And it's just so funny because everybody's like, wait, wait, the little chick just... And she's just constantly, you know, being the one saving the day. And it's just, it's just super hilarious. It is a great personality. It's just so much friendship and camaraderie. Because in this one, it wasn't just the couple, but how they all meshed as a group. And how even though they're all kind of alphas, um they're just friends together and they've almost turned it into their own kind of uh pack family and it's just so great to see that many you know strong personalities just truly being there for each other so again give it a read you guys please give any of terry spears books a read because they're worth it and hopefully i'll talk to you guys again soon bye you enjoyed that please check out our other videos already on YouTube and give us a like and subscribe and if you hit that bell for notifications you'll know when we put something new out so try to make everyday matter by finding the fun you guys have a great one bye